Hi there, you are just about to land at the airport and the Microsoft Flight Simulator 10 just crashes. So yeah, this could be very annoying, especially if, we, if you could spend about half an hour or 45 minutes in flight, you're just about to land, you're just about to finish, and it all crashes. So probably very familiar picture for you if you're watching this video. So, what kind of things you can do? There are a number of things that you can do of which one of these have worked for me, but I cannot guarantee that it may work for you. So we have to go down to Windows, back to Windows, we're just going to press back to here. And uh, first thing what you can do is go to your Microsoft Flight Simulator 10 folder, which is usually located in your C disk, whatever your primary disk is, Program Files, Microsoft Games, and Microsoft Flight Simulator 10. You just locate the uh, execution file of Microsoft Flight Simulator and you just click Properties. And what you can do, I'm running a Windows 7 32 bit edition, so you may have another one. So you just click on Compatibility, you just take Run this program in compatibility mode for whatever operating system you're running running Windows 7 and you just click apply and OK. So that's the first thing that you can do. Didn't work for me but possibly it may work for you. Can't guarantee. The second thing what you can do, you can go and get uh, this file UIAutomationCore.dll and you just copy and paste it in Microsoft Flight Simulator 10 main folder. So I have included the link in the description of this video below where you can download this DLL file so hopefully it will work for you. If it doesn't work then there is nothing much I can do that the best I can do for you at this point. The th third option what you can do is to try either you know change from 64 to 32 bit uh, Windows 7 or choose to another operating system which may possibly work but that's not something like you would like to do. So another thing what you can do is uh, to reinstall drivers on uh, uh, for video card on your computer that that's another thing what you can do. So I'm trying to get back here to Microsoft Flight Simulator and, and actually it doesn't want to. <laughs> so that's all that I wanted to tell you. Basically, that's one of the solutions what uh, you can do. I'm running on uh, Windows 7 32-bit operating system. I just have 3 gig of RAM and my computer is quite old. So my, my kind of graphics and everything is quite simple. So if it does help you then don't forget to do leave thanks or click like on the video if it doesn't work for you well there's nothing much I can do that's probably the best options that you can possibly use to solve this problem it did solve problem for me so I can use my Microsoft Flight Simulator and it doesn't crash so far so that's it for today thanks for watching